Hello, just a quick update on the 52 Ford half ton. Um, we've high build the, the cab and it's all blocked, uh, ready for final priming and then paint. The inside, uh, you can't tell, but we did paint the floor with uh, pour 15, just to prevent it from rusting. Uh, and the underside of the cab as well, we did that. The roof came out perfectly, even though a tree or something fell on here and it was hammered, it was it was fixed once before, it was lots of work. But everything's nice and smooth now. Uh, the front fenders, uh, we've high built them, We're, we haven't blocked them out yet. We're waiting for um, the, uh, I'm going to finish the uh, the box and the rear fenders and then mock everything up. Mock the, because I haven't, we got to modify the uh, running boards still. So I, and we wanted to block the fenders on the, tr when they're bolted to the truck. So they're not moving and flexing. So we're waiting for that. We're just putting them in storage and I'm just starting to work on the rear fenders. This is the driver's fenders. It has uh, well, it's, it's some issues. I'll flip it over. As you can see, this is where brace, it's all rusted. Not too bad. It's, it's got a major rust problem along there. Shouldn't be a, that's all where these braces are. And this brace, this brace is going to have to all come out and because it's all rusted behind there, it's all going to have to be cut out. Um, this has been, this back here has been pushed in and since there's a bar in here, you can't, we can't, we've tried hammering it out, we can't. So I'm going to do some relief cuts and might have to put, take that bar right out to get that a little smoother. Otherwise, there's no really major dents in this fender. Uh, this is the front of it where the running board uh, bolts up to. Uh, it is rotten on the other side. Well, that's just normal. Uh, that I'll just do it like I did the front fenders, cut <clears throat> cut that out, bend, curve it on the English wheel, and weld it, fit it in. But otherwise this fender is decent. Hopefully once we grind it all down, it'll, uh, won't show up any other holes, but we'll see. And this I'll have to t probably take this off cause it's all rot rotten underneath it. Uh, and make a new, make new brackets there, make new, uh, stiffener there and this one as well. And this one. So we've taken off the uh, rear fender brace. Uh, it bolts. It bolted right there. Um, so it was all rusted behind here. I'm going to basically leave. There's a steel rod in here. I'm going to leave that alone and just cut the sheet metal on top of underneath here. Uh, replace that. I am not going to, I'm going to basically seal up that hole. It'll be new sheet metal. Cause that's where the fender brace bolts to. And I'm just going to weld that up. Ha have no, uh, it was just a carriage bolt because I figured that's going to collect rust. Plus if when we try and tighten it up, it's just going to crack the paint, the brand new paint on it and then rust or it'll pull it in and dent it so what i'm going to do is uh probably make a new one of these uh line it up there weld the stud onto the, uh, this brace just a 3 8 stud or whatever and um, then you won't see there won't be a carriage bolt head on the other side it won't be factory but we're not making this completely factory and we've chipped away that big rust hole so i will do that but maybe not today we straightened out that a bit 
but I'm gonna try and do that today. So I've marked out, this will be my uh, first cut in, the, in this fender. Uh, this is the easiest one, so I'm starting with the easiest one. I just marked it out with a marker. I'm gonna leave this edge because it's all nice, nice template, so I'm just gonna cut along that edge and once I cut that out I'll use that piece of the template go on a, and cut it and mark it out and cut it out on a piece of sheet metal and weld it in this is nice and flat so nothing needs to go on the English wheel for that so I'll cut that out and then start on the other ones okay, okay just uh, we made the patch now just tacking it in right now The metal that we're using is probably 20 gauge, the replacement mount metal, but the sheet metal on the fender is probably 18 at least, so it's a little bit thinner. So what we do is just, just put it slightly below the surface, so then you just put a skim coat of uh, fiberglass over it, and just to seal it. Easier to sand. You don't have to worry about hammering and dulling too much. We'll finish welding it up and then we'll grind it off. Okay, this first panel is all welded in, ground. Oh, we still gotta because we tacked it on, tacked on the backside, but. Uh, it's just slightly in indented here, which will be fine. It'll be just fiberglass, and uh, it'll go from we'll go from there. On the inside, like I said, I well, I made a new a new uh, brace. Just have to grind it a bit, and I welded on a uh, stud of a bolt, and that'll hold the uh, fender brace. So then you won't see. You won't see a carriage bolt there or rust it'll just be smooth and over here this is my next cut and fix this is where the running board uh, bolts up to there there and there uh, you see it's all rusted rusted there that was just clamp uh, so I'm gonna cut it where we marked it um, just to get into some good sheet metal the rest of it's fine and then I will replace this brace because it's all rotten and it's spot welded to the rust, so it'll come out too. One rusty piece. I can uh, keep that in there. Use that as a guide, and I'm going to use this as a guide. I have another brace under here 
that I left, I cut right on top of it so I can use that as a guide too. The sheet metal will just sit right on top of that. So it should be a fairly easy fix. And I left this, so that's going to be my guide there. That's all nice and straight. So the only uh, difficult part is going to be um, duplicating uh, the mounting holes, three mounting holes for the uh, running board. So this is the piece that I'm working on. That's the piece we cut out. It's got a slight curve to it. On the front fenders, I used uh, the English wheel to curve that. Uh, I'm gonna do something different. I've already cut out a blank piece. It's a little bit bigger and bent it. We just did a simple bend. Uh, we didn't even use a brake. Uh, we just bent, clamped it to a piece of uh, steel and hammered and dollied it over. Um, this cause we, it's easier and the, our brake is actually at my cousin's place. My other cousins. Uh, so that came out good. So what I'm gonna do is use the shrinker, shrinker to shrink this piece right here and that will allow it to cur curve and get that con contour. So we'll go and uh, do that. So this is our shrinker and stretcher. We just bought them for, from our local Eastwood guy. Uh, this is a few years ago. I don't know if we have a local Eastwood guy anymore, but what I'm gonna do, this is the shrinker. So we're gonna try and make that look like that. And you put it in the jaw and just push down. Some have uh, um, foot levers, but these are just tabletop. Do little increments I found are better. Gradually curving it. And go back over to even curve it more. And the harder you press, the more it's going to curve it also. You can see it's slightly starting to get, get shape. Uh, we got a little ways to go. And best just to keep okay, most of it's uh, got the shape just up there. At the end, just needs to be curved some more. Then you might have to go back to it and either shrink it or stretch it if you went too far. See, that's pretty much got it for right now. I will start uh, cutting and test fitting it, and I might have to shrink it and stretch it more. It does distort it slightly, but you can use a hammer and dolly and dolly some of that out. Same with if, if this is rippled too much, you can dolly that out. But as of right now, I just have to make cut that shorter and start fitting it. And I might have to do some more shrink and stretching, but for right now, I'm happy with that.
Okay, almost done this uh, patch panel. I cut it roughly into shape. It's clamped in there. As you can see, you see it uh, hugs the curve quite nicely, but it is clamped. Uh, inside, all I did is it's a little bit over there, a little bit over there. So I just marked it inside. It's a little bit over there and mark that. I'll just trim that uh, and then test fit it again and it should be good to weld in and that will be an excellent patch there is the second patch panel all welded in it's not completely welded in and ground but it's in there still got a weld there but a ground we welded it on the inside so it makes it easier to grind it on the outside makes it smoother and we just have to round this over this metal bar and make the inside brace i started making that that's the original piece there uh there's a thicker uh, piece of steel for the brace for the running boards so i basically cut that out and i hand bended it with uh just just uh, vice grips and then anvil and dollied it so it'll be fine and I just have to this has a slight curve so I have to curve that and I, this uh, is too thick to put in the shrinker and stretcher so I'm going to have to uh, what I'm just gonna do is pie cut and make little pie cuts and gradually curve it using a hammer okay this rear patch is done it's all ground in drilled holes and uh, my inner brace is all done it's just tacked that's all it needs to be and like i said i uh pie cut a disc just to curve it and it'll all get uh, hidden. We'll undercoat it and everything. But that's uh, like the factory, nice curve and then slope and then sloped and then it went straight. So that went, found a crack here, welded that up. So that patch is done. Um, now we gotta work on this. It's rotten here, so I think I'm going to probably have to cut it all the way from here. Cut it out all the way here and make the outer sheet metal and the inner pieces all rotten too. And I will probably do that on the shrinker and stretcher too, since this is fairly flat. Here it doesn't need to be curved. It's just like a 90 degree bend and then curved this way. So I think I'll do that with the shrinker and stretcher as well. And a nice tear there and there. But those are little cracks. We'll weld, up, weld them up later. So it's been a, about a week since I've been working on these fenders. Um, I did the first two patches on the rear fender. Uh, this is the sheet metal I've cut out and replaced over there at the bottom. And that's the inside of that one. So working on this back, uh, this is the back of the rear fenders. Uh, I'll show you the piece I took out. That's the rotten piece I took out. I first attempted to, this is my first attempt at making the piece. Uh, it failed because um, our shrinker and stretch, or the one I was using, are just an inch jaw. So what it did was buckle. It 
couldn't grab shrink the whole the whole the thick uh flange on there so it just shrunk the outside and it buckled here so we went and purchased i would say kevin purchased a eight inch throw shrinker and stretcher so i made this piece and like the factory i relieved that out just to, so it would curve better that's been relieved just like the factory and it's just clamped in there right now uh it fits perf fairly good i just have to do some trimming on it and uh start making it fit but the back see it's flush very flush around there so i just have to mark it trim it slide it in and then we'll tack weld it in so we've got this roughly tacked in this last patch panel what i'm going to do next is build there's an inner brace that goes along here um, i will build that i'll show you that that's uh, this piece here this piece is rotten too so I'm just gonna uh, make my own piece it's got a large rust hole there that's so when you bolt the fenders up uh, it's got extra bracing so it doesn't warp the sheet mail we also found handy we found you can buy these uh, contour tools uh, we took a quick contour before I uh, cut the bad piece out and then you can basically gauge use it to gauge uh, where your sheet metal is so we managed to get that pretty perfect there'll be minimal uh, body filler which is good and along this edge I'm not too concerned because we're going to be putting uh, welting fender welting so but it it will be good with least amount of bondo as possible all right so this patch is all welded in it hasn't been ground um, that's where I cut it out to relieve so it would uh, like the factory and we'll just grind that smooth fill that full with uh, fiberglass and that just needs to be chopped off and that piece the inner piece is all then tack welded in um i've already made uh notes of where the uh holes got to be drilled so i'll drill those later but that's all done pretty much for this fender uh we'll i'll send it over to kevin he can start uh stripping the old paint off and stripping and grinding the rust off the inside but there is if you don't have a shrinker and stretcher uh you can do this simpler ways like this you could pie cut this i've done that in the past curve it and then weld it in uh that's basically what i did with this inner brace if you can see because it's it's uh almost like 3 16 steel we can't put that in a shrinker stretcher so i just pie cut it and and hammer it until it curves but you can you could do that with here it may not look perfect once it's all in there but for for this i think you could probably get away with it but since we got the tools or i want to get using them more and more but you could easily do this without a shrinker and a stretcher. But we'll get working on I'll finish grinding that fender and then uh, oh and one other thing we got to do is right here and all the way up here there was a uh, a steel rod in there, a stiffening rod. Uh, I had to cut that cut it here and 
in a couple places just to get that out that was all rotten so we'll replace that and then just pinch this over and just making sure that this curve is correct before we put that in and that'll hold that in its place so after that then we'll get going on the other fender more fun okay rear fender is done it's all ground It'll just need a little bit. We'll just put a little skim coat of fiberglass. The holes, mounting holes, are drilled. We even uh, reinstalled a, uh, there's a steel rod brace in there. We took it out just to straighten it. And then we uh, made a new one and put that in there. And that's just a piece of angle iron. It's a stiffener. Uh, to replace the one I took out but that one's ready to get uh, stripped and then start body working on it and I'll start working on the second one that's the next video